Hanato, congratulations. And you get the ground and pound when the godfather of ground and pound, Mark Coleman, is in the building. Do you think that's a 300K worthy performance? 100%. If they're not 300K, what is? <laughs> Finish on the second round against a tough guy. I was the underdog. People were disrespecting me a long time. When I saw the odds plus uh, 200, I said, man, I'm going to put all my money. But then I remember I cannot bet, so I lost <laughs> that money. Talk to us about that moment where Jalen had you on the ground and he walked off. Do you think he either thought it was a walk-off KO or do you think he didn't want any part of the ground with you? I don't really know what, yeah. what, what was, but I think he knew I was better, at the, better than him at the, at the ground, so I think he was trying to, to, to be safe. And ultimately, you got it done in the second round. When you came into this fight, you're fighting Jalen, someone that hasn't been submitted before. You know the submission artist that you are, but you did get him to the ground. Would that have been the outcome you'd expected? Were you looking for the submission to be the first man to do it? I was looking for the submission, but I was, I was hearing his coach. He said, don't give your back, don't give your back. And then I, I keep punching. I saw the judge was about to stop the fight. But I really wanted the submission, but I got the TKO. It's good enough for me. You've got to be happy with that. And you've mentioned previously Paddy Pimblet, and there's a little bit of a elim title, elim not title, sorry, fight eliminator going on now with Bobby Green calling for Paddy as well. Is that a fight you still want? No, let, <laughs> let, let Paddy fight, fight Bobby Green. I think they are on the same level. And I'm on the top 10 now for sure, at least in the top 10. But to be honest with you, if UFC offers me a fight against Paddy Pimlet, maybe I take it, you know, maybe I take it, maybe not. Let's see how, how is the money, what opponents I have. Now I'm in a good place, uh, a lot of uh, finishes on the, on the lightweight, and I am the best lightweight in the world, I just have to prove it. What kind of money will it take for us to get you to Manchester to fight Paddy Pimlet, if that's, all, if that's the fight he wants as well? <laughs> I, I know he wants the fight, he's been calling me, but UFC uh, needs to give me a, a f raise, and let's see. <laughs> how much money they're talking about, but i never been to London, i never been to England, so I would be willing to do that for sure. Okay, bit of travel, fun fight, all that good stuff, but uh, you said there you feel like you're the best lightweight in the world. You're probably going to be in the top 10 now as well. What are the fights then that make sense to you outside of Paddy? What ones make sense for you in terms of rankings? We've got the likes of Dan Hooker, we've got Fazeev, we've too got Benio Terry. Too easy, oh. Dan Hooker too easy. You know, if I did that to Jalen Turner, imagine Dan Hooker. The same style, less ground game, so uh, Dan Hooker is in trouble if he fights me. But to be honest, I want to, I want, of course, whoever wins in Charles Oliveira and Sarukian will fight for the title eventually. So I want to fight the loser of the fight. I think it makes sense. I think uh, we, we fight in the same day. Uh, whoever loses, I want to fight next. You want to fight the loser that you assume the winner will go on for a title shot? Of course, the winner for sure. If not the title shot, because we have Max and, and Gaethje, at least they're going to be on the top five waiting for a call. And the loser is going to have new contenders. And guess what? I'm the new contender in the town. All right. Well, you state your claim tonight. You've made your name on this huge card, UFC 300. What's it been like being on such a big card such as this? I mean, it's just been next level energy for us as the press, but for you actually doing it. Yeah, it, it, it's good. But at the same time, I... I, I didn't let the emotions control me, you know. I say it's just another card, and now I will enjoy because before that I was just saying it's another fight, it's another night. Because if you let this this uh, like the moment, the moment affect you, that that could affect you in the fight. So I was being very humble, very uh, uh, low expectations. I I just want I just wanted to come over here finish gel internal like i said and i did now is the time to to enjoy the labor the, the fruits of my labor and what did you say to dana white when you jumped over the cage wall and went to him don't know uh, it was not me it was diego lopez oh it's diego lopez yeah <laughs> i thought it was you if you were to say something to dana white <laughs> what would you say ask for that 300k i would say don't give the bonus to diego lopez give it to me I love it. I love it. Well, maybe next time. Have a little jump over and work for Dana. Obviously, we've got Zuckerberg there as well. No, I hope they find him because they say to me, don't jump the cage or they want to find him. So now find Diego Lopez. I nearly got you in trouble. It wasn't you. Thank you so much for talking to us. Enjoy your celebrations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody on the UK. OK, and I appreciate it. I hope I, I, uh, we can fight on, on, on UK too. All right. We will see you there. <laughs> Thank you so much.